What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now in today's video, first of all, it, it's been a minute. It's been a very long 2020 and I haven't reviewed and just sat down and played with makeup in a few months. Um, the world has been so insane, so I thought, you know what, it's time just to sit down, take five or 5,000 hits, and just play with all of this new stuff that has come in the mail and that I've gotten over the last few weeks. There has been a lot of new launches, of course. We have the Patrick Star Makeup Line One Size. It launched in every Sephora, um, and we have new Laura Mercier Foundation. We have Charlotte Tilbury Bronzers. We have new uh, Dominique Cosmetics. I've never tried this on my channel before. Um, we have new eyelashes. There is literally 10 new mascaras to try. I mean, I, I might need 10 more eyeballs. So there's a lot of products here. Um, also, there's been a lot going on in my life. Um, so let's just sit down, drink a Red Bull, and catch up. Come join me. Okay, now I have been dying to just sit and play with some makeup. I know that there has been a lot happening, um, and I know that there's been a lot of negativity thrown my way, so if you have me on notifications to tell me to or call me a or a I can take it. If you need to let out your anger on me, baby, I can be your pinata, but negativity, bye! We're done, we're over it. So if you wanna to continue to drag me through the hells, Drag me, baby. So first of all, I'm just gonna dive right in because there is so much hair on my table. Now, yes, I have a little bit of foundation on my forehead. Hi, new hair, how are ya? <laughs> but, should we just dive right in, Chris? Yeah. No. Yeah, we should. Okay, so Dominique Cosmetics, of course, from Kristen Dominique. I have never tried these products before, and this is a collab with JD Wadey 180. Um, now this product, we're gonna pull up our handy dandy app. And now this is in Sephora, of course, and this is $32, it's limited edition. We have four ounces of product. What? what? I don't even know what this is. I just bought it. So it says a lightweight mist to prep face or set makeup or refresh throughout the day. It's the drink of water your skin has been craving. Okay, well, there's only one way to see if it works. And for $32, bitch, we better get a really good mist out of here. Ooh, the spray's nice. Let's, let's watch that again. Ooh, okay. <sighs> it smells really fresh. Oh, hello skin. Okay, it actually looks cute. Um, now there is a, another product with this. Mmm, what is that fragrance? It smells very fresh. Now there is a primer. It says an ultra hydrating complexion primer, of course, by the same brand and collab. Now it says that these products were made in Korea. And what is this? This is obviously a face primer. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this $28 primer, it's supposed to lock down moisture to prime and prep your complexion, creating a flawless canvas. It's supposed to leave you radiant. It's a cream formula, and it has an aroma of green tea and cucumber. Okay, so let's give this a whirl. Um, have you guys been wearing makeup lately at all? I know the whole world is wearing masks and everything has changed with the makeup. So are you guys wearing a lot of makeup? Are you guys sitting at home playing and having fun and being creative? I've been going through waves of like a month of hardly nothing, being just like in a weird funk and then I'm like, okay, time to really play with makeup again and have fun. I've been creating so many products behind the scenes and just, you know, keeping busy, which is really good and healthy, especially if you're going through mental health issues at home, if you have crazy anxiety or you're just like feeling like cabin fever. I know a lot of us have been staying indoors for a very long time. I'm like, Chris hasn't left his house. <laughs> and it's just been such a weird, it's just, it's 2020, it's so bizarre. So um, I know that retail has had such a crazy time in beauty and there's so many things closed, reopening, closing again. California, it's crazy here, bitch. So I don't know, I just know that there's a lot going on and there is just so much out there. So if you're feeling overwhelmed or like you just are in a weird rut, girl, you're not alone. Ooh, okay, real quickly. This feels really nice. It feels very hydrating and like the foundation is going to blend on the skin flawlessly. Will it? We'll see in a minute. Also, it's been so long since I've done a real like Jeffree Star approved video. Like it's been months, girl. I'm like, I. 
I'm a little shook. So foundation. I already have a little bit on my forehead, so we're gonna, don't judge me, but Laura Mercier, her newest foundation is the Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition. Now I have been swimming a lot and just being outside, so I've gotten a little more tan, probably more so ever, like than ever. I've been, you know, pretty much a vampire my whole life, very into anti-aging, but lately, girl, I've just been outside enjoying myself and just like feeling re-inspired. And I'm re-inspired to try some new f***ing foundation. All right, so for $48, you are getting a... $48 is that a lot for a foundation? Okay, it's full to medium coverage. It's satin, it's maybe matte, it's radiant, it's natural. Um, I, of course, tried this on my forehead earlier. It looked cute, but I really set it. So I wanna see it by itself. Um, I also am going to use a beauty blender to apply, so let's just, let's just go for it. Oh, and what shade am I? I am shade 3C1 Dune, D-U-N-E, work. All right, uh, oh my god, did the primer work? We're about to find out. Okay, first impressions, ooh, I really like how my skin looks. It's very radiant, it has that like, ah, uh, like effect. Like look at that little glow right there on the cheekbone, woo! Yeah, it's nice. I think I like it so far. I need some concealer on. Um, okay, now I, when I was online shopping, I didn't see any new concealer that was out at all, um, which was a little depressing. There hasn't been a lot of launches at all this year, PS. I'm like, so I'm like, uh, we're just gonna, we're using mine. Hi, Magic Star is that bitch, so. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer real quickly. Magic Star shade C2 and C7. Um, and while I apply makeup, you guys, I'm just gonna talk freely. Anything that comes to my mind, there was also like, this is what I, look, I'm over rumors and bullshit and everyone making up fake shit. Girl, there's photoshopped uh, DMs that are going around this week from me of shit that I never said. Um, speaking of my concealer, Chris, you might find this hilarious. There's someone that tried to say that um, there's a police report from Jeffree Star Cosmetics at our warehouse and our robber that we only had $10,000 of things lost. It's a pull, it's just, it's all so silly, but people run with things and I get it. This is what 2020 is about. A lot of people are bored and miserable and they just want to make up shit all day. I'm used to it. It's just shocking the levels of things that people are believing now. I'm like, you guys, there was 30,000 units of just concealer stolen and so many other things. Like, it was so horrifying and awful and scary. So for someone to try to, like, minimize it, like, I'm, it was a hoax or something, I was like... <laughs> so I roll with the punches. You guys know I'm really strong. Just take my advice or learn from me, you guys. Like, it is what it is. <laughs> That's my new motto. And by the way, this concealer on top of this foundation is sickening. But yes, sadly, my robbery was real, no matter what anyone wants to say. And that was over a year ago, so I can't believe that that was even brought up again. And I haven't worn concealer in a minute. Ooh. Okay, I tried. When I, so I went on a social media break, you all know, before my last video, and I tried to grow out my eyebrows um, in that 25 days, and I gave, I gave up. I was like, uh-uh, it looked so weird. I should have taken a picture, but. One day I will grow my eyebrows back. Okay, let's set this face. Okay, I was trying to look for something new to set my face and I actually have something being revealed next week. So I'm gonna go set this mug and I'll be right back. Voila, the face is really set. I'm so happy. And yes, next week you guys will find out what the hell I'm actually talking about. What's next? The face is set. Oh, hi. We need some contour. Okay, so Charlotte Tilbury, Miss Mama, put out the Airbrush Bronzer. Look at this component. It's so pretty. I've tried this once, not gonna lie, hi. It was really pretty. I have never tried it, of course, on camera. Shades one and two here are perfect for me and I love mixing and matching. Let's try it. Now for 0 0.56 ounces, it's $55, girl, on the pan. I heard that these pans can actually come out, Chris. Oh, really? Like it's a magnet for a refill. Not like it's like, it's not cheap packaging because the packaging is cool. really pretty. But if you run out, you get to keep your component and just get a refill. Hi, magnet. How you doing, bitch? All right, now, for, like, for real, this is really pretty powder. It goes on like airbrush, and I just love how it looks. If you're feeling a little like, huh, just take your powder and cut that contour a little more. But yeah, this powder is amazing. I'm already gonna tell you I really like it. Like, on first try, I was like, ooh, this is really soft. It looks nice and pretty. So I like to sculpt the jaw, the ear, the cheeks, the nose, and yes, I'm feeling like a statue. 
Okay, now it's time for some blush, and I'm excited because no brand has really put out blush in a minute. But the Crayon case, or what do you say? Crayon I case? would say crayon. <laughs> the Crayon case and the Crayon case. Everyone fights about how to say it, bitch. I love this brand, though. The Crayon case is amazing, and this is their new blush binder. I haven't even opened yet, uh, opened it up yet. I'm so excited. First of all, their packaging is always so cute. We all know the fabulous and amazing Supa is the owner of this brand. Um, I live for her. She's so cool, and I love following her Instagram journey. Um, now, look at this packaging. God, okay, plastic insert to make sure that nothing is broken. And you, are you ready for this, Chris? It's kind of mm -hmm. genius. Woo! Look at the pan sizes. They're huge. They're huge. I love everything big. I'm shook, though. Like, and look, I mean, the colors are sickening. Like, hello for every skin tone. Oh, hi. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, there's another page. Oh my god, six, 12, oh my, oh my god. Okay, this is sickening. First of all, there's a lot of options. Like, hello, are you guys seeing this? Oh my god, okay. So this retails for $45.99. It is currently sold out because her fans are getting amazing and they really shop and her products are great. I've tried them before on this channel. And let's dive in here, oh my god. Okay, now on the third page, there is this stunning pink mauve color. Ooh, okay, not a lot of fallout, looking cute. Let me just, let me try it. I'm gonna go back and forth between this one and this one, because this is like a really peachy, cute moment. Hello, and I, I used to contour with blush, literally, 10 years ago. Hi, MySpace, how you doing, girl? Ooh, okay, it's blending on nice. This is a little MAC blush brush that I've been using for 10 years. Going back and forth with those two colors. Oh yeah, it looks really nice. It doesn't look chalky, it doesn't look streaky. It's blending on the skin flawlessly, and we're just gonna put it right into that hairline, honey. Okay, formula so far worked really nice. Let's see how it wears throughout the video. Now, what else is on the desk? I, we, we will need, need to get to the eyes, but I was looking for a new highlighter and I really don't have one. Like, I don't have a new highlighter. Like, I'm shook. There's this NARS palette that kind of has this like shimmer right here. Does it have any pigment? Let's check. Oh! Oh, okay, that, that, that worked. Okay, well we're just gonna, bam, there we go, issue solved. Okay, now it's time to get to the eyes. Now, I'm really excited because first of all, Patrick Starr released his brand new makeup line called One Size. It is a Sephora exclusive, and the packaging, I love red. So the packaging, I think, already is uh, really good. These are makeup wipes, the juiciest makeup remover wipes. Okay, we're gonna see about that. And I'm excited, now this is cruelty free. Um, and his whole brand, I love the aesthetic. Now me and Patrick actually both used to work at MAC, which is so crazy, and he has a really cool story if you ever wanna check it out. But he has makeup removers. This is a dissolving mist. Obviously I'm not about to try that right now. I need to finish the look. But a few weeks after his first launch, he launched more products, and this is the Visionary Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I love the red. Let's see what it actually looks like. And then there's actually, Okay, hold on, hold on, he really he released some stuff. What are these? The Eye Popper Sparkle Vision Eyeshadow. So I guess kind of like liquid eyeshadows. Bam, okay, so for $42, here is the Visionary Palette. It has like a crisscross cut thing here, so it's easy to just pull open. Bam, oh, okay, so I had not really seen the color story. I know it's all over the internet, but, okay, okay, girl. There's a lot of neutrals, but Patrick, I mean, he's been wearing brown and crazy, beautiful, smoked out eyes for a long time, so I didn't know what to expect for his first color story. We got a pop of blue in here, we got some green, um, <laughs> Turban Legend, okay, that is cute. And the pans in there are cute as well. What does the formula feel like? Ooh, it feels creamy as f actually, hi. And not that I expected him to put out anything lackluster, but, oh, hello, shadows. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We all know I'm a very harsh critic when it comes to formulas, and these feel really good. How do they feel in the eyes? Let's find out. Okay, so we're gonna go in with shade Soft Serve. Um, okay, bam, let's put that in there. Now, there is some fallout that's obviously normal. It's eyeshadow. I don't really ever complain about fallout anymore. You know when you're dipping into powders, that's what's gonna happen. So let's see what Miss Soft Serve looks like. Oh, 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 bam. For one dunk in the pan, it's like really pigmented, which thank you, Jesus, because I love me a good brown eyeshadow. I'm just gonna really stamp this all over the lid and just create a little blown out 
smoky fantasy. Okay, now I'm gonna take this really fluffy long brush and we're gonna dip into shade Mango. It's like a really beautiful peachy moment and we're just gonna put that over the shadow and just kind of blend her out. We'll go back and forth between soft serve and mango. Okay, now there's a gold shade over here called the Title Holder, and I really just want to take that. I'm just going to take it with my finger, first of all. Ooh, it feels good. And I'm just going to place this right here. Hi, gold. Now, Patrick has been wearing metallic gold smoky eyes forever, and he always kills it. So I'm not shocked at this color story. I was just looking at some of the comments, and I think some people wanted maybe some bright, but this is a really good neutral palette. Um, is the gold shade showing up? Oh, 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 when it hits the light. It's cute, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Tidal Holder is a really cute shade. I'm packing in the inner corner and I'm bringing it down. And, ooh, I like it. There's a little bit of fallout. We're just gonna brush her away. Bam. Okay, now for up here, we all know I have no eyebrows. Hi, how are ya? I was thinking of taking this Manila Sands color, a really light cream right here with that same brush and just kind of lightly going over. I'm probably gonna put some highlight on the brow bone in a second, but just to diffuse that so it just gives it a little more soft look. Bam, I'm gonna go do this side and I'll be right back. All right, now we're gonna go back in with shade brownie with this Tom Ford pointer brush and we're gonna just drag it underneath the eye. Hello, I love a good golden brown moment. Quickly, we are diving into Taupe of My Game. That is a cute shade name. And yeah, like I'm just sitting here thinking, Chris, when we used to film three videos a week and life was just so mm -hmm. different. Like everyone's talking about TikTok being banned. I'm like, what is really, do you think it's really gonna happen? I don't, it, I don't know, like everything's just so crazy. I'm like, what is going on out there? Oh my God, okay. Should we just spell a few more rumors, Chris? Okay, I am currently single. I am not dating anyone. I'm hanging out with someone, but we are not serious at all. And I'm just enjoying my quarantine time. Everything is great with the dogs. All six are amazing. The puppies are, oh, they're getting so big. Oh my God. We gotta do a real like house life update with the dogs because they are getting so big. Okay, here, here's a funny one. Mm -hmm. You know, I've mentioned my grandma a few times. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, my grandma, Mary, she's <laughs> real age is 103. Okay. Mm -hmm. on uh, She turned that in July of this year. But when we did our video, I said my 100 year old grandma. So everyone thinks that she's not real. <laughs> Mm -hmm. My grandma's not real and I fabricated her and she's all lie. Yeah. yeah. You guys! Oh my god, I can't. I know everyone out here watching this is probably laughing with me. I was like, what? My grandma is like, got it. I'm fake. I'm like, she is alive. She's 103. She lives in Orange County. Please do not try to find her. She does not want to be found. <laughs> um, but, you know, sometimes family doesn't want to be on camera. And I always say that. And we just got to respect it. She is so old. Can you imagine y'all harassing a 103 year old? Leave her alone, but yes, she is doing good right now. And no, she's not, she hasn't left her house since COVID except once, and it was in a very controlled environment. Um, and then she also had to go to the hospital recently, but she is doing okay. She had a little health scare, um, but yeah. All right, so, so far so good. It's definitely time for mascara and lashes. Ooh, there are so many new mascaras here. I honestly don't, I wish I could do a poll. Like, I, I really don't know what mascara to try. <laughs> okay, bam, Marc Jacobs fell into my hand. Let's let's give it a whirl. Okay, blacker. Okay, work. Okay, sometimes I'm scared of these brushes. Mmm, smells like a nice fresh mascara. Should we try it, Chris? Let's give it a whirl. Now, I gotta be honest, I've been wearing false lashes, fake lashes, a lot lately. So my real lashes are a little beat up. I have glue everywhere. I've been doing a lot of photo shoots and video stuff. So my real lashes are not at their best, I would say. And this mascara is not helping, I'll tell you that. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna put a lash on, so I don't really care what they look like. But yeah, the mascara didn't make them that sickening. Let me try a different formula on the other side. Let's give Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara a whirl. Ooh, okay, bigger wand, bigger applicator, bigger brush, I mean. Mmm, okay, I love the smell of makeup. Do you see a difference? For real. 
the Mark Jacobs one looks darker. Uh-huh. It does. The brown huh? one looks more full. Full, yeah. yeah. But the but the color almost looks like gray black, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, it's like a charcoal. Whoa. That's bizarre. Yeah, this one is more pitch black. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, Pat McGrath is a little more full and volumizing. And the Marks Jacob one the Marks. The Mark Jacobs one. Okay, I'm just gonna do this one on the bottom. Ooh, okay, for the bottom. This is looking really nice. Okay, now we're gonna try the Patrick Star One Size Eye Poppers. Yes, the Sparkle Vision Eyeshadow. Um, there are an array of shades. I chose these two. This one is shade P House. Let's see what it looks like. These retail for $22. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna say these are maybe reminiscent to like the Stila ones. I know a lot of people are coming out with liquid eyeshadows. I love liquids. We're just gonna put this in the middle of where the gold is and see what she looks like. Oh, it's blinding actually. Whoa, okay, wait a minute. I probably should have bought all the colors because they look really good. Now let me take the eyeshadow brush I was using earlier and let's just stamp this in so it blends before it dries. All right, now it's time for some lashes. Now these literally just came out a few days ago. These are the Jamie Genevieve Tati Lashes collaboration. I love Tati Lashes. There are three styles here. What are we feeling today? Um, these are TL Jamie number three. I think that these are gonna be really cute with this look. And I'm gonna take some Tati uh, Mama Mitchell glue and we're gonna get these bitches on. Oh! I'm quitting. I pulled the lash from the middle of the band. Well, this was really pretty. Oh my God. I'm, I f***ed up. I pulled from the middle and it came out. Oh, oh my God. I can't have one, am I having one lash on? But listen, we're about to take off the makeup anyway. And I've never even done that in a video before where I test products and then I have to wipe it all off. So one lash is, this, it's actually the new thing, like on Mean Girls. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, we're about to take off all the makeup. Should we just do that? I don't have any new lip products. Um, so I'm just gonna do a lip just to do it because I want to test Patrick's formula. So let's put on a liquid lip, a lip liner, and a gloss. By the way, I'm gonna use shade Dominatrix for the Velour Lip Liner. Just doing a little celebrity skin Velour liquid lip. Hi. You can use your brush to blend this out. You can do your finger. Come on, ombre. Bam. Woo! Okay, now for gloss, we're gonna use the KKW Kim Kardashian Shade Soulmate. Mmm. Oh my god, that was way more nude than I thought. There we go. Oh, that's actually a really pretty nude. Ooh, girl. Wow, okay, yeah, that's actually a really pretty combo. What the f Um, okay, you guys. We have basically a full face of makeup on. Ooh, look at the glitter. Uh. And the only thing left to try are the one size makeup removers and makeup dissolving mist. So in order to do that, we have to wipe all of this off. So before we do that, I think we should quickly go over what is actually um, good, what worked, and what the f is Jeffree Star approved. Okay, it's currently at 90 degrees outside while we're filming. 80, 90, it feels like I'm gonna melt. So we turn the air on, so if you hear a little, it's my air. Let's talk about, let's talk about everything that's sitting here. From start to finish, the Dominique Cosmetics spray, is it necessary? No, did it work? I mean, it looked cute on the skin. I don't know if it did much because we all know I put on a primer after. So, I mean, it did say you can set your face with this too. I don't think it's necessary. I think it's cute. What I did like though, and what is Jeffree Star approved, is this Ultra Hydrating Complexion Primer. I really liked it. I think that it put the foundation on stunning. It looks beautiful. Um, and I liked how it looked by itself. So even if I wasn't wearing foundation, I would probably put this on after moisturizer for a very glowy moment. Now foundation, I really like this formula. The Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. That's a mouthful. Laura Mercier, you have a hit on your hands. I love this formula and this is Jeffree Star approved, yes! Okay, moving on. Okay, now the contour. 
I really like this. This was my second time using it and it blended really nice. I love how it looked on the skin and it's definitely cute. Is it a little overpriced? Yes, over $50 for a bronzer. Sit down, girl. But we all know Charlotte is luxury and I really like it. So this is Jeffree Star approved. Hello, good morning. Um, I love it. I love the packaging. I think it feels nice and heavy and the formula is really what got me. It's just seamless. All right, so the last items that are Jeffree Star approved are the blush binder from the Cran Case. I loved it and I really liked these eye poppers. Like, look at my lid. It looks so pretty and I think that this formula is honestly better than Stila's. Um, Stila, we love you, girl, but this one is new on the market and it's amazing. So these two items are Jeffree Star approved. Yes! Okay, now the palette. Is this necessary? I don't really think it is. Did the color story really reel me in? Like if I saw this at Sephora um, and it wasn't this brand and it was someone else, would I pass by it? I probably would, and that's no shade. The color story just didn't like really speak to me. I've seen browns um, and a pop of blue before, but the formula. It's really good. It looked sickening on the eye. I love that gold shade. The mattes are really pretty, so if you want a good formula, he has one. Um, now the lashes, I botched them. I really botched the lashes. I, I don't know what happened. I just ripped out the middle. <laughs> oh my God. And all the mascaras, I mean, underneath the Marc Jacobs looks pretty. Mascara is mascara, but it didn't give me like the wow factor. So I'm gonna have to try them more. I don't just wanna be like, ugh. Kim's gloss was cute, bitch. We all know I like my own formula, so I don't need to say anything about that. But this formula um, and the color soulmate, let me put more. I'm sorry, I was downstairs. <laughs> okay. Should we wipe off everything? All right, now it's time for the finale of the video. Let's see if these makeup removers work. Now, the first item, of course, is the One Size Go Off Juiciest Makeup Remover Wipes. That is a big claim. Now, there are 21 wipes in here, and it retails for $15. Okay, the price... That's not bad, actually, for $15. Um, the packaging is enormous. Now let's compare it to the wipes I've been using for years. Of course, the iconic Neutrogena wipes that everyone knows and loves. Okay, so these wipes are, of course, bigger than the Neutrogena one. I thought maybe I would do like a half, like half Patrick, half Neutrogena, and let's see what happens and how much makeup really comes off. We'll do the Makeup Dissolving Mist first. Now, the mist, I've used some dissolve, uh, Dissolving Mist before, Urban Decay has an amazing one. Now this one retails for $24 for 3.4 ounces. It's an epic continuous mist that slips over skin and instantly dissolves all makeup on contact without leaving skin feeling tight or dry. Okay. Dissolves all makeup on contact. What does that mean to you, Chris? Like you spray it and it melts off? I guess. Okay, that's shooky. I'm shooky. About I'm like, bitch, let's try it then. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, that is a big white. Look at that. Hello. Mmm. It's like it's really fresh and fruity. Let's just compare this to a Neutrogena wipe, of course. Let's open her up. And here is the size comparison. What do you think? Oh, that's a big difference. So, almost double, maybe. Yeah. Double. Yeah, the Patrick one is like one third bigger, would you say, right? Sorry, I'm blocking it. Yeah. Cute. Okay. Sorry, Lash. Tati, I'm sorry I did you wrong, girl. You know I love you. Um, these contacts, when I am getting ready to go to bed and I take off my makeup at night, the contact lenses have to come off before you do any rubbing, because that's scary. And that's just how I take them off, that easy. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. Oh my God, that's a lot. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh, it smells like the wipes too. Okay, ready? Okay, there's half the face. Is anything dissolving? Oh my god, my eye. When nothing's melting off, I still see my blush. I'm gonna touch it, ready? It's like, it's mixing it around. I, I have to try the wipe though, okay? We'll just do one side. Does it wipe off the makeup on my fingers? Oh, yes it does. All right, ready? Here we go. Okay, also- It's melting right here on your nose. It is, huh? <gasps> oh, it's kind of going in my eye and it burns. Now, I gotta be honest though, for being the juiciest makeup wipe, it feels kind of, like it feels wet, but I swear to God, the Neutrogena ones are way more juicier. Oh my God, I wasn't getting in my eye. Okay, I mean, look, all the glitter, all that came right off. Ooh. 
I mean, it, it came off. It definitely came off. Is there still makeup on my skin? I don't know yet. Let's let's keep going. Making sure I got it all. <laughs> like nothing's burning my skin. Nothing feels weird. Um, now I'm going to go over here. Okay. Bam. By the way, this is what this one looks like. Now we're gonna use the Neutrogena wipe, which yeah, it does feel more wet. I gotta be honest. I've been using the Neutrogena ones for a very long time. Oh my God, it's hard with the mirror. I just gonna wipe my eye. <sighs> my natural self. Now I'm going to do the next step after I use a makeup wipe. You want to get the makeup wipe residue, is what I call it, or the juice off of your face. You don't want to probably just sleep with that all night. Um, at least I don't like that. So now we're going to go in with my favorite toner. We're going to tone the skin and see with two cotton circles and see what um, or how much makeup is left. So this is my favorite. It's from Sicily. It's called the Floral Toning Lotion. It's alcohol free. It's for dry and sensitive skin. And I love it. All right, now on the side with the Patrick Star Wipe, let's tone. All right, how much makeup is on there? That is what came off of my skin on this side. Now let's go in with a fresh one. Okay, and here, let's compare. So here is the Neutrogena side. And here is the Patrick Star One Size Wipes. As you see, there is a little bit more makeup residue here. Could I have gone in with another wipe? Yes, but they both had the same amount of spray. So honestly, the Neutrogena one, it was a little bit more juicier and it got off, I think, more makeup in my opinion. Now, is the dissolving spray worth it? Um, I think as a good starter to get things going, it's easy. If you wear a full mask of makeup, this is definitely gonna be your friend. The wipes, I'm not the biggest fan. I like the smell, but I almost feel like I have like a, I don't know, not a film, it just felt a little different. Maybe I'm just so used to these, but I really think that Neutrogena did get off more makeup. Um, okay, wow, I'm barefaced. That's new. <laughs> I'm like, usually this is how I start the video. <sighs> okay, bitch, get this fucking lip out of my hair. Okay, you guys, sound off below. What products did you like today in this video? What did you hate? I wanna hear your feedback. Um, and I'm ready for more products to come out, you guys. Like, can we just like, can stores start opening again? <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you on the next one. Mwah. <laughs> Bye, guys.